Hello YouTube, my name is Sean Connors and welcome back to Outsiders. I'm going to be covering off a question as a video response really to the same OG who uh, I'll try and put a link at the bottom here about his channel, um, who uh, was one of those new role players for me anyway. I've recently found his channel and um, I really like, you know, stuff he's churning out. It's really good and there's a few people out there I'm going to do video responses to because they've got new channels and um, it's a really good way of highlighting um, by video responding to them, what I think, and I, I think a lot of the time, I've started commenting quite a lot on a number of channels, but I, I really do like what this guy's doing, and um, I quite like the style of what he's putting out as well, it's very interesting. And he asked the question about group balance, is it important, is it, ne is it a necessity? Um, and I've seen quite a few comments go up and stuff, and um, you know, there's a lot that I agree with, um, but I think I'd like to put a slightly different spin on things, and hopefully add another piece to this, which is that, you know, group balance, is it is it important in reality? Uh, yes and no. You know, it's not as straightforward to say no it isn't, and it's not as straightforward to say yes it is. That It depends entirely on the system. The system makes such a difference towards group balance, it really does. If you take a more modern game like Pathfinder, the way that that is based, it's based off the four pillar cornerstones. It's based off having you know a class, a primary class from each of those, so that's Rogue, Cleric, Fighter, Magic users. It's based off that premise to build a group. Hence the fact that often people say, you know, the game is designed to be played with four to five players because it's assuming that you're covering off one of the core bases. Now, of course, you don't have to play it that way, and as a GM, an experienced GM, you can, of course, counter any classes the characters want to play in terms of if they've got a concept in the head, as some people have pointed out, the concept is far more important than the balance. And I don't disagree with that. I think players playing what they want is actually vital to running a very successful game. But of course, certain systems lend themselves better. So for example, if we take, use the analogy of Pathfinder, the, you don't want a game where, you know, it, let me rephrase. If you've got a group of players who love to dabble, who like to tweak, who like to challenge you, who are likely to throw some curveballs into the mix at the start of the campaign that you want to run, then pick a system that encourages that type of play. Pick a system where that's not going to be a major problem and the players don't feel in the slightest bit penalised by it because it's not. It, it's interesting. Some systems are going to penalise ungroup balance and one of those systems is things like Pathfinder without a shadow of a doubt. If you want to play Pathfinder with four fighters, that's great. You might get away with that for a few levels but as a GM, there's only so many times you can write encounters which don't include certain elements before it becomes... Um, quite dry and a little bit boring. The game's designed around certain premises. So I don't want to get drawn into too big a battle over this, but the reality is that it's it's a summarise. It very much depends on you know, the style, the type of group you have, the way they want to play, and you as a GM, plus, of course, ultimately the system. Now, as a GM, your job, obviously, part of your job is to actually you know compromise. Part of the compromise, of course, is to allow the players pretty much to play the concept they have in their head. Um, but if you know that you're going to encounter some challenges with this, then pick a game, pick a system that's going to allow you and your players to have the maximum amount of flexibility without having to worry about whether it's slightly balanced or not. Um, and that's really my take on it. So I hope that that makes sense, and I hope that it all adds up. So there's a slightly different variation of the same theme here running, but um, I do think it's critically important to discuss it. Anyway, I've been Sean Connors. This has been Outsiders talking about group balance. Uh, take care of yourselves and happy gaming. Bye-bye.